Good afternoon. This is Word Harriman, AE6TY. This is the Cliff's Notes version of the Nano VNA Connect video, which you will find elsewhere in YouTube on my page. So we're going to do the fast version of all this. So the first thing to do is to invoke Nano VNA Connect. To do that, you'll start up SimSmith version 18.3 or newer. Click on View, and then click on Nano VNA Connect. Finally, select the serial port. The first thing you might want to do in this high-speed tour is to retrieve a measurement from the Nano VNA, which has already been made before it was connected to the computer. In order to do that, I'm going to set the mode to retrieve. I'm going to specify where to put the file. I'm going to click Go, and the result will be imported into SimSmith. Retrieve once. And here we see that the file was imported into SimSmith. The next step is to calibrate the Nano VNA Connect software. And to do that, I'm going to click on the mode until the calibration information gets displayed. Then I'm going to hit Do Cal. I'm going to do Open, Short, Known Load, and Through. And then I'm going to specify the load impedance, and then I'm going to write the calibration. And I will edit out all of the time it takes me to switch the standards. Calibration is ready to go. Let's do Cal. Connect to the open. Connect the short. Connect the known load and terminate port 2. Connect to the through. Now I want to set the standards. 49.4 is the correct standard in my case. And I want to write to the calibration. Now I have the calibration. So let's make the same measurement that I made with the Nano VNA built in firmware, except this time using Nano VNA Connect. I'm going to do a reflection only. I'm going to do it once. I'm going to put it in a different place. I'm going to say go. And here is the file that Nano VNA Connect wrote. You'll see that they are the same, which is good. So now I'm going to make an impedance measurement of a device I know to be purely shunt using a two port measurement. Here I'm going to say it is a shunt configuration. I'm going to make another file. So shunt configuration, purely shunt configuration. I'm going to name it that. I'm going to say go. And the file gets read in. Interestingly enough, that was the same device that I used in all my other tests. Now I'm going to make a measurement of a different device. In this case, I happen to know that it is in a purely series configuration. Purely series. This is not quite the same device, so the trace may be different. Series. Again, it's a different device, so it may be different, but it's roughly the same. That was the idea. 
and now I'm going to measure all four parameters of a non-symmetric device. Notice that I'm going to have to reverse the device. So I'm going to change the mode to once. I'm going to hit symmetric. I'm going to connect to both ports. I'm going to hit go. I'm going to reverse the device. And then I'm going to examine the result. So I'm going to put in my asymmetric device. This is an asymmetric device. Notice now it's going to be an S2P file. I'm going to give it another name not symmetric s2p file go now i'm being asked to reverse the device restore the device so that we don't forget which way it's put in it's not going to do any more measurements and now to look at that it's not quite as well integrated into simsmith I want to sweep this. These guys need to disappear. And here is the impedance looking into S1 right here. And if I want to see the impedance looking the other way, This is what it looks like looking backwards from the left to the right. I can also see the transfer. And here are the transfer functions of the asymmetric device. Notice that they are the same. They should be the same. This is a completely passive component. What did we do in this whirlwind tour? We imported a previously obtained measurement. Then we did a calibration of Nano VNA Connect. We measured a one port device and compared it to the previous measurement done disconnected. Then we measured the same device in a shunt configuration using two ports. And we measured a similar device in the series configuration using two ports. I skipped over doing four port S parameters of a symmetric device, which really means I just didn't need to reverse it. And I wrapped it all up measuring all four S parameters of an asymmetric device and showed that the S21 and S12 parameters were the same. This is Word Harriman, 86TY. Thanks for watching and thanks for using SimSmith.